工作有什么期望？有什么期望？当然了，无论我们叫儿行千里母担忧，华海外的华人华侨朋友，包括留学生们，永远是中华民族大家庭的重要成员。Chinese students are caught in the middle of rising fears about the growing might and influence of Beijing's authoritarian regime. In August, Beijing loyalists came out en masse in Melbourne, clashing with pro-democracy protesters supporting the uprising in Hong Kong. The same weekend, pro-Beijing protesters also hit the streets in Sydney. I think even the organizers did not realize how patriotic, how nationalistic the local Chinese community, especially student community, can be. They wanted a platform to be able to have a voice, and I think a lot of people there saw that rally as a platform to have their own voice, to say, um, you know, we're proud to be Chinese and to be from China, and we're proud of the Chinese government. Vicky Xu came to Australia as an international student in 2014 from China. Her worldview transformed as she studied political science at Melbourne University. Growing up, the textbooks are full-on nationalistic. They teach you this narrative that China you know, in the last 100 years have been humiliated by the West. And, you know, we, there's a very clear notion of China and the West are on opposite sides. And, um, and, and also in, you know, in Chinese student handbooks, the, the number one rule would be love the country, love the party. <laughs> In Canberra, local students were bussed in by the Chinese embassy to welcome Premier Li. The young patriots drown out those there to protest against the Chinese government. Lu Pen Lu is president of the Chinese Students Association at the University of Canberra. She organised 200 of her classmates for the rally. Chinese embassy, they support us, or sponsor us, by providing um, flags, food. The flags? Yeah. The food? Transportation. Transportation. And, um, like, legal help as well, lawyer. For the event, for the day? Yes. Yeah. Because okay. there's politics involved. Um, sometimes there may be conflicts with the police. The Chinese government and its proxies monitor Chinese student associations at most Australian universities. This oversight has a dark side. Students organising anti-Communist Party protests may be reported to the Chinese Embassy. I guess, um, as the president of Chinese Student Scholar Association and as a Chinese, I would do this for the safety of all the members, all the students. You would tell the Embassy that some students were organising a human rights protest, for instance? Yes, I would, definitely is to keep all the students safe and to do it for China as well. Oh 
Universities are now on the front line of a clash of political and academic cultures that's posing greater challenges to the industry than ever before.